Hey guys, Shebear1000. Today we're going to be trying some of these frozen meats from the Dollar Tree. See if they're worth a buck. Let's cook them together. Let's have some lunch. Okay guys, first thing we have here, let me get you put down here a little bit. Okay, the first thing we have, we got the Fast Bites, Chili Cheese Hot Dog, okay? We're going to try this. This just goes in the microwave. This is going to be, this is going to be Bruno's lunch, okay? I mean, I'll try it. You know, I have to try, he can't talk, so, anyway. Alright, so we got that. Now we've got this, it's from Pleasant Prairie, it's marinade chicken fried beef fritter, okay, so we've got this, all this stuff of course was a dollar, this you're just, you know, you can, you can cook it a couple different ways, this one you can, uh, it says cook frozen, you can deep fry it, for one and a half minutes you can pan fry it that's what we're going to do over medium over medium heat with oil one minute per side so you cook this frozen now these I have thawed out because they want you to cook these thaw so but we're going to pan fry this and this one here the we have the uh, mesquite barbecue flavor it's from Pleasant Prairie as well pork loin riblets see the riblets all right there's a couple little bones in here. Oh, uh, this is da, 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 four and a half ounces. This here is six ounces. Um, let me see. This one you can do two different ways. You can wrap it in foil and cook in the oven at 300 degrees for one to one and a half hours. Or you can cook it on the grill over medium heat. Coat with oil or non-stick cooking, cook, cooking spray. Brush riblets with your favorite barbecue sauce and grill. Turning occasionally until the temperature reaches 165. So, we're going to have to preheat the oven. And we're going to have to cook this for a long time. Okay, now we have, it's from Stampede. We have the boneless beef ribeye steak. Alright. Now, I don't know about this stuff, guys. I mean, look at that thing. It's Look how thin it is. But, but we're going to cook them up and see. Now, this one, this one is three and a half ounces for a dollar. Now, if you think, you go buy meat, alright. Let's say you buy a pound of this, right. And you pay for it. I don't know what it's going going for now, but at three and a half ounces for a dollar for three and a half ounces, I'm thinking you'd get a better deal if you just buy your big steak. So same way with these things. So I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Um, this one here's cooking instructions. We're gonna we're gonna put it in the skillet. Remove steaks from sealed pouch. See, it says fully. Uh, fully thawed, thinly sliced steaks. Wow, say that really fast. Fully thawed, thinly sliced steaks by placing in refrigerator overnight. This is the same way. This one here, the riblets. This one they want you to cook frozen. So, th this is what we've done. Remove steaks from sealed pouch. Okay, I'm glad they told me that. Uh... <laughs> Place steaks in a well-oiled preheated pan on medium-high heat. Cook approximately two minutes, turning twice during cooking into an internal temperature of 160 degrees. So why don't it just say one minute per side then? I mean, if you're cooking it for two minutes and you flip it twice during the cooking time, I don't, I don't know why people write that kind of stuff. So, um, all right, well... Okay, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to turn the oven on. I'm going to get it preheated to, what'd that say? 
we're going to preheat that to uh, 300 degrees. Man, this is going to take a long time. Okay, that's all right, though. Not for you guys, though. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat the oven to 300 degrees. We're going to cook this one, this one, and this one while this is cooking. Okay? So, all right. All right. We've got the pan heating up. Very little oil. Let's give it a little bit more. Alright, so the pan's heating up. You always, whenever you're using cast iron, you always want to heat the pan up first. Like preheat it. Alright, so we've got that heating up. over medium heat I just opened up that uh, the riblets and it smelled pretty good all right one minute per side That's one minute. Flip him over. I mean, it looks good, but one minute. There's another minute. Now I'm going to check the temperature of that because it just doesn't seem like that's enough. Well, the temperature seems to be going down. <laughs> so. I'm going to let it cook. I'm going to flip it over. Cook it another minute per side. Alright. I went ahead and did two minutes per side. Now. Let's check the temperature on this. Alright, we're closed. So, let's go ahead and take this off. And we're going to put this in here for one minute per side. Okay, we did one minute per side, so let's get this off of here, and we'll get it on the plate as well. Okay, so here's what the steak looks like, right there, and this, the country fried thing, or whatever, chicken fried. All right, let's cut. Let's cut this open. And see what the inside looks like. And there's the inside. Really thin. I mean, it looks about right, but now let's let's cut this open. No, I didn't season these because I wanted to to taste the actual flavor 
Okay, this, it doesn't look bad. It looks a little done to me. Um, I like it. You know, my meat, medium rare, that's more like a little over medium. So maybe one minute. And that skillet was pretty hot. So if I had put this in before that, I think it would have been alright for one minute uh, on each side. But it did beep the, uh, okay, there's the hot dog. But it did let me know that the, um, the, uh, the fork did let me know that it was done. So let's get, let's get the, uh, hot dog out. Okay, so this is pretty hot. Now I put it in for 90 seconds, which is a minute and a half, because, you know, we all know that our, uh, our microwave's not that great. Alright, so, there's a hot dog. The hot dog looks pretty good. Mine's a little soggy, but that's to be expected in the microwave. But let's try these and see what they taste like. Alright, first, we're going to try the, um, the chicken fried steak. You know, well, it's a little bland. Like I said, I didn't season it. It's not bad. I mean, it tastes like it's nothing spectacular. Is it worth a buck? Yeah, that's worth a buck. Um, piece of fuzz floating down on me. It's worth a buck. Let's say you're you're a single person, or or you know you a college student or something or whatever. I mean, it's quick. Yeah, and you throw it in there, sure. But I mean, I don't see how you're going to get a couple of these to feed somebody. So let's let's try the ribeye steak. Um. Not bad. A little overdone for me, but it's about medium. I like medium rare, but that one's a little better. Um, it tastes all right. Again, nothing spectacular. Again, I didn't season anything. Uh, is that worth a buck? Maybe. You know, uh, for me, no. No, because I, I would have to have six of them to make a meal for me. Um, probably three of the the uh, chicken fried steaks. But uh, for some people, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the flavor's worth a buck. I just don't think that it's feasible to buy that for a dollar. When you can get a bigger steak in the long run, yeah, sure, it's more than a dollar. But when you figure it out, you can find them on sale for 89 cents. You know, not the whole steak, but you know what I mean. But, so, I think, but you buy the bigger, the bigger steak, you can cut it up and freeze it. Cut it up into sections like this and freeze it, and then you'll have more. Because I really don't think either one of these are a deal, and I'm pretty sure those riblets are not going to be a deal. I don't care how good they taste. By the time you make a meal out of it, you know, because the normal people, normal, just, you know, average, I should say, not normal, that sounds bad, but the average person is going to eat more than that. So you're talking $2 a person, that's $4. Pretty sure you can get a pretty good sized steak for 4 bucks, you know, uh, or ribs, you know, uh. I've gotten ribs for four bucks up at Publix, so. Alright, now let's try the hot dog. Okay. Here we go. Again. 
it's good. You can taste the chili, the cheese, it's good, nothing spectacular. But it's a hot dog. You look around, you can you can buy a whole pack of hot dogs, eight pack of hot dogs for a buck. You know, if you look around you find sales. That's one hot dog for a dollar. Granted, it's got the chili and the cheese and the bun, but still, it's one. So, I'm going to share this with Bruno. And uh, as soon as the, uh, the ribs are done, it's got about 45 more minutes. We'll get back with you and check on that. So, I'm going to finish this off, share with Bruno. Then we'll see how good the ribs taste. I know Bruno's going to love the rib bones. There's a little bit of bones in there, so if they're not too small, maybe he can have a bone from that, too. So stick with us. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now for the riblets. Let's see here. I had them in the, in the oven for one hour. I got to say, it smells pretty good. It doesn't look very, very appetizing, but I mean, it smells a hell of a lot better than it looks. Uh, man, I don't know, guys. I don't even know if I want to try this or not. Bruno! Where's Never here when you want him. I mean, it's all... There's what it looks like. I should have put it on the grill with some barbecue sauce. I don't know. Well, let's try this. <laughs> I'm just going to try a little piece of this, guys. All right. Taste synthetic. There's hardly any. It smells great, but there's hardly any flavor to. Bruno's getting this. Uh, yeah, you heard that, didn't you? All right. Well, you know the the other three. I I mean, it's okay. It's just I I don't know. It's just not there, you know. I mean, like I said, I didn't season it. That's probably why they tell you put barbecue sauce on it. But I wanted to, again, I just wanted to, I wanted to taste the real flavor of it, and not just taste some barbecue sauce or some salt and pepper, you know. I wanted to give you guys a, a good review. Uh, the other three's all right. This is kind of, it's a thumbs down for me. Uh, overall, maybe to pick up a couple things to have you know that that you can that you can fry up in a couple minutes you know for lunch or to hold you over till till dinner time supper time that might be all right but but you know if if you're planning on you know cooking for yourself and your wife or husband and a kid or two it, it doesn't make sense i mean if if you, if you eat two of those things a day, you know that's sixty bucks a month. Uh, that's that's pretty pricey. And you're really not getting anything for sixty bucks a month. I can I can buy a week's worth of food. You know, uh, I'm talking like a week. You know, I can buy stuff that probably two weeks with that. Because you know, you, you you make spaghetti or something. You you've got leftovers. You know, you make some soup or beans or you know some stew, some beef stew, stuff like that you've got leftovers make a meatloaf you've got leftovers so you can eat on it more than one day and you can freeze a lot of it and have it again you know the next week or, or whatever so uh, is, is it worth a buck um, just to pick up one or two yeah but to to actually have a meal with it no absolutely not you're wasting your money uh, and as far as flavor wise I I'm just I'm just gonna give it all I'm gonna give it all a thumbs down, actually, because in for overall uh, aspect of it, 
it's not worth it. So just just go buy you some decent meat and, and pay for it. I understand. I really do understand about how food is getting so expensive and 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 things like that. But uh, you know, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. So anyway, guys, there you go. Uh, uh, j j like I said, just to pick up a couple things, okay, but, but don't try to have a meal on it because uh, you're going to be disappointed, very disappointed. I mean, you know, the camera, those packages look big, but trust me, they are not. I mean, three and a half ounces, what's that? That's nothing, you know. I mean, that's nothing. I can eat three and a half ounces in two bites, but Bruno's going to be happy here. Yeah, yeah, he'll be happy here in just a minute. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. There's another product review for you, Dollar Tree product review for you. And um, hope your guys' week is going well. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching again. Appreciate it. Shea Bear the Myth, the man, the legend, gone for now. Bye bye, guys. Take care.